G'day, and welcome to Invention. Today, we're going to talk to you about top line, why it's important, and how you can improve it on your horse. Hey guys, the first step in understanding how to build your horse's top line is to actually know what top line is. So when we talk about top line, we're talking about the groups of muscles that run down the top of the horse's body through his neck, shoulder and withers area, across his back and then down over his loins. Horses that have good top line and show you that they are working correctly and they have the ability to be able to move and jump well. So horses come in all different shapes and sizes and depending on their conformation, it can present different types of challenges when it comes to building top line. We're gonna to give you three different examples of some of our horses to demonstrate this. So this is our first example. This is Declan. He is a four-year-old off-the-track thoroughbred, and he's been in work with us for about five or six months. So initially, we thought it was gonna be difficult, or mostly difficult, for him to build top line in his neck, but his neck is actually doing quite well. You can kind of see where his muscling along the top of his neck has come in really well, but his back and loin area has been more difficult. And when you think about it, race horses naturally just go and run. But as performance horses, we ask them to carry themselves and use their back a lot more. So it's been a little bit difficult for him to build the muscle and figure that part out, but he's really coming along. So example number two, this is Owen. He's a just turned five year old uh, warm blood cross and he, obviously, the first thing we notice is that he's very large. With all this growing that he's been doing in the last six months, he's kind of changing shape, but the work I'm doing with him is obviously trying to develop his top line and develop his strength. His neck has changed a lot of shape. This was quite hollow, but it's starting to fill out. But you can see the biggest challenge I face with a big horse like this is through here, through the top of his loins. Obviously, the bigger they are, the harder it is for them to really sit and work and carry all their weight um, in difficult exercises. So this is gonna be the focus and the future in developing this horse. Example number three is Bellamy. He's a 15-year-old Oldenburg thoroughbred cross, so obviously more thoroughbred. Um, conformationally, he does not have a, a great neck. He has a little bit of a U-shaped neck. But in the five or six years that I've owned him, we've worked really hard on making this top line really, really strong. So his neck is very filled out here and down through his back, his really strong shoulder and strong through the loins. Now, because he's an upper level event horse, he is pretty lean, but um, everyone I think can appreciate a good top line. Now that you've seen three examples of different top lines, let's get into the hard part, which is actually building the top line. Right, and before we get into the exercises, we've got to touch on an important part, and that is the role that nutrition plays as well as exercise. So horses aren't that much different from humans. Their muscles are made up of proteins and they need a, a complex balance of protein and amino acids in order to build new muscles without getting too complicated. So basically, you can't feed your horse to a good top line either. You know, if I wanted to build big biceps and I drink 15 protein shakes a day, it's not gonna do me any good if I'm not doing the appropriate exercises. And that being said, no matter what exercise you're doing, if you're not doing the exercise correctly, or if your horse is tense or stiff or not going forward, you're gonna end up building the wrong muscles. All right, so before we get into the exercise, let's go to a Shramo shout out. Today's Shramo shout out goes to Peaceful Valley Donkey Rescue located in San Angelo, Texas. Every year these guys rescue thousands of donkeys that have been suffering from neglect, abuse and abandonment from all over the United States. Check them out here, they're doing great work. Back to the action. The first exercise is stretching. It's good to make sure the muscles are all limber before we do exercises under saddle. You can use your simple carrot stretches to do this. Just make sure that you don't try and force your horse to stretch. So exercise number two is doing long and low. 
Personally, I like to incorporate this in my warm up. It's a great way to get the horses active and stretching down through their neck. What you don't want to do is just trot around with the horse's nose poked out in a kind of lazy trot, otherwise you will not be getting much effect. Exercise number three is using trot poles or cavalettis, a great way to get the horse lifting through its back. Just make sure you get your spacing right, each horse is different. Exercise number four is transitions, transitions, transitions. So when the horse is together and really active, whether he's going up the gears or down, it's a fantastic way of strengthening his hind end and back. A word of caution here, if your horse is inverted behind the leg or just against in the bridle, you won't be getting the full benefit of your transitions. Uh. Last but not least, exercise five, incorporating hills into your work. They don't have to be steep, but going up and down hills is a great way of strengthening a horse's hind end. Just remember you want to keep the horse pushing himself up the hill rather than pulling himself along. Uh. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you got some exercises on how to improve your horse's top line. Until next time, see ya.